Hey guys, how are you? I wanted to share this recipe with you tonight because I had a couple people ask if it was easy to make. Uh, I made that uh, superfood smoothie bowl uh, and I shared it a couple weeks ago and people just wanted to see how I made it. So I just have my blend jet. If you guys don't know what a blend jet is, it's just an awesome little blender that does not have to be plugged in. It has a USB port on it. You just press the button and it goes. So it's great because you can take it to work. You can take it on trips. It's very portable. Um, I have original almond milk, unflavored. I'm not like an unsweetened. I don't really like a lot of different flavors um, because I like to add them myself. So I'm only doing four ounces of that and that'll be about 15 calories. And then I am going to add the superfood smoothie. So the superfood smoothie comes in two flavors. It's either chocolate berry or tropical fruit. I use the chocolate berry. I just, I have a thing for chocolate. I have a thing for berries. If you know me, I eat strawberries every single day. Um, I'm adding one scoop. I reserve the right to go back later and add more if needed. Um, but one scoop of this is what makes this uh, such a healthy meal. So I had kind of like a weird day. Um, the boys are out tonight. Uh, they're doing a guys night, like the dads and sons. Uh, they went to the Flyers game. So I had, kind of like an afternoon where I was picking when I was like feeding Jared before he went to hockey. And then I, um, I just kind of like grabbed the bad stuff. So I don't really want to eat dinner, but I do still want to get my nutrition in. Um, and sometimes the best way for me to do that is to have something like this, which is like a smoothie or something. Um, but I want it to be satisfying. We'll talk a little bit about how I make it satisfying in a second, but getting my nutrition, the superfood smoothie has tons of nutrition. It is loaded with superfoods. It is basically like almost like eating our greens. We have a greens powder. So it's almost like eating the greens. I could actually add greens to this if I wanted to. Um, but it has like apple fruit fiber, oat fiber. It's got artichoke root, beet, uh, coconut oil, avocado, uh, organic chia seed. I know many people know that I'm allergic to coconut, but for whatever reason, oil, coconut oil doesn't bother me at all. Um, and we're getting ready to test coconut flour, so we'll see how that works. Um, it's got mango, it's got banana, it's got carrot, it's got Brussels sprouts, it's got matcha green tea, it's got broccoli, cauliflower, celery, asparagus. It has a ton of stuff in here, um, but it's loaded with vitamins. It has vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E. It's got dietary fiber, phosphorus, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, manganese, potassium, biotin, folate. Um, biotin, if you... Um, or watching anything like with your hair or your skin or your nails, um, this actually has 333% of the biotin that you're recommended per day in a scoop of the superfood. So this is a great way um, for people that are watching, um, you know, if they're having, like, like I had bariatric surgery, if you're going through hair loss, like post COVID, I lost hair. Uh, you can see, I don't, always wear my hair up, I mean down, but you can see I have a lot of like regrowth coming in. Um, and that is because I use our, I use a specific hair, skin and nails vitamin from my company that helps it to regrow. So I've had two instances over the past year where I lost a lot of hair. One was post-op, about three to four months post-op, I just had chunks of my hair falling out. Um, and I was so grateful for that vitamin. Um, and then again, in September, when I got COVID about a month later, I had chunks of hair falling out and it's all started to come back. You can see like it's all growing back. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, but I do try to get biotin in anywhere that I absolutely can. So this is a great way to do that. All right. So I have four ounces and I have a scoop and now I'm going to add my fruit and I am going to add half a banana and about six strawberries. So they're cut up, but I did pre-count them. I weigh and count and measure um, as much as I can when I'm trying to pay attention to my nutrition. Uh, one of the things I will say is if you don't have a scale, like it's super small, um, I really recommend getting a food scale and using that because it helps so, so much to make sure that what you think you're getting is what you actually get. And then you just blend. Now this is still a little liquidy, 
The last time I made this, I made it with um, frozen berries so that it came up a little bit more solid for the bowl. I'm going to just add some ice to thicken it up a little bit. And I don't know if I said it, but the smoothie powder was 110 calories. So if you are, you know, if you're following calorie counts, which I'm not big on calorie counts. I was talking to somebody today. Um, not that I overeat my calories. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I focus on protein. I make sure that I hit my protein goals um, because it'd be, if, you know, through my dietary classes and the things that I've learned from my nutritionist, it's really important to hit your protein and keep your carbs low so that your body does what it's supposed to do. Um, I don't overeat where I have to worry so much about my calories, so I'm not tracking them specifically, but I know that I never really go super high on those anyway. I'm going to try this one more time with ice. not as thick as I would absolutely love it. I probably would do the frozen strawberries again, but I'm just going to put this right into the bowl because I'm going to eat it with a spoon. Whoop. And then here's the best part. Um, chocolate candy cane granola. This company is called Safe and Fair. I got this in Sam's Club. It is a granola that is clean. It is free of the top nine allergens. It is gluten-free, and I should have said that about this also. Um, Soy-free, vegan, good for low-carb, helps your weight loss and metabolism, has pre and probiotic, and uh, it has science-based results to help you with lean muscle mass. So if you're you know, using that as a post-workout, it's going to help you with um, that. But uh, this is kind of like my, my little bit of a cheat. I'm going to say that. Um, I did use the full 30 grams that are in here and that's 120 calories, but to me to get that little bit of crunch, kind of like if I was eating a cereal and I want that little crunch, um, I think it's worth it. You know, like I'm going to be eating this as a dinner. Um, and even as a dinner, just the bowl itself was 250 calories. When I add this on top, I get closer to 370 um, but it's a dinner, so I don't think that that's a big deal. Uh, but for me, this is like a great way to get all the nutrition in. I'm still going to have some crunch. It tastes freaking amazing, um, and I absolutely love it. So I hope that that helped you. I'm going to have to – that's kind of overflowing. I liked my cute little bowl, but it's a little bit small for the amount that I got here. I may not eat the whole thing. I might just kind of like eat part of it because it does fill me up a lot. Um but I am curious if you try it. If you try the tropical fruit, let me know how you like it. Um, I love the chocolate berry. The first time I tried the tropical fruit, the way I tried it, it came out super, super sweet for me. So I've just been kind of sticking with the chocolate berry. Um, but if anybody tries the tropical fruit, I'd love to hear, especially if you're in our private VIP group. If you've used it and you love it and you have comments about it, I would love to hear what you think. Um, hope this helps and I will talk to you guys soon.